My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. I am making honey barbecue chicken wings. So I have about two and a half pounds of chicken wings here. And then in this bowl, I have my um, flour mixture. So there's flour, chili powder, there's kosher salt, black pepper, paprika, and garlic powder. I have a prepared pan here. I've lined it with nonstick foil and I sprayed it with grapeseed oil. And then I've got my oven preheated to three, I'm sorry, not 350, 425 degrees. So I'm just gonna get in here with my hands. I'm gonna flour all of my chicken wings and then I'm just gonna lay them out on the pan. Okay, so I've got my wings coated. Here is how much flour mixture I have left, quite a bit. But I am going to pop, this in the, pop these in the oven. I'm gonna bake them for 45 minutes and then halfway through, I'm gonna flip them over. Okay, so the wings are done. I baked them for 45 minutes. In this bowl, I have um, barbecue sauce and honey. I am going to toss the wings in the sauce, put it back on the baking sheet, and bake these for about 10 more minutes. Okay, so here are the wings, super easy to make, and I cannot wait to dig in. Serving the wings with some leftover macaroni and cheese and green beans that we have in the fridge. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So we are eating from our freezer for dinner tonight. I know I sound a little hoarse and stuffy, um, but I'm pushing through. So in my pantry, I have this char sweet. I hope I'm saying that right sauce. It's a little packet. And I actually marinated the meat last night, so I do not have the package. I threw it away. But it was enough for about two and a half pounds of these pork steaks. And um, as you can see, it kind of has that red tint. If you eat a lot of Asian food or been to Asian buffets, you've seen like that red pork. And I think this is what um, that is. So. We're having that. I had some spinach, fresh spinach in the fridge, sauteed that, and then I also just made some fried rice with my favorite Kikkoman mix that I mention all the time, that Kikkoman fried rice seasoning mix. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making hamburger steaks with gravy. Howard and I um, have not been feeling well. Harrison's been sick too. And we really haven't been eating like comfort food or anything um, at all. And I had a craving for it today. So I made some cabbage and I fried it in bacon grease, not the bacon that I normally do. Um, so just got some cabbage sauteed and some bacon grease. I am boiling some potatoes for mashed potatoes. And then I've got my ground beef cooking here. I've got six patties. I used 80-20 ground beef and seasoned it up with onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper. I'm just gonna let these brown on both sides and then I am going to make a roux and I'll show you all those steps. So I just added in my flour and I had to actually add a little bit of butter to it in order to make a roux. So I'm just gonna let this cook up until it gets brown, probably for about five minutes, stirring it occasionally. Okay, so my roux has been cooking for about five minutes. Now what I'm doing is adding in some beef broth. Of course, that is Harrison. I'm using water and then I have two of these packets of beef bouillon. Okay, so here is dinner. I was planning on recording a lot more of dinner, but as I was cooking, I realized I still don't feel that great. I don't have that much energy, but I will make sure to leave the um, recipe that I loosely followed in the description box. As you can see, my hamburger patties kind of um, shrunk down to like a giant meatball. Um, but they do have good flavor. I did have to add some cornstarch slurry in order to thicken up that gravy because it was a little bit too thin for me. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making this pork shoulder. Um, I guess a month or so ago, Kroger had their pork shoulder on sale for pretty cheap. And so I bought a large one and then brought it home and then Howard, um, 
cut it up into three different little roasts for us. But I am going to make it in the crock pot and I'm going to use this sweet chili Korean barbecue style sauce that I've had in my pantry for a while. And there are instructions on it for slow cooker. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna make tacos out of it. I think I'm just gonna serve it um, over some rice with some broccoli. So this is what it looks like after I dumped it out from the jar. I'm gonna cook this low and slow um, for probably about eight or nine hours. Okay, so here's our dinner. I let this cook for about eight hours, about seven hours in. I uh, shredded up the um, pork a little bit. So here it is on the plate. Let me show it to you in the crock pot. And this is what it looks like. Howard thinks it has a good flavor. I don't think it really has much of a flavor at all. Definitely needs some salt or something to it, but I'm glad I finally used up that simmering sauce because I've had it for a while. If you happen to have this in your um, pantry or see it again, I would definitely season your meat first. It definitely needs some salt or something like that. So I'm serving it over white rice, just like I said that I would, and then some fresh broccoli that I sauteed. I sauteed the broccoli in grapeseed oil and this seasoning. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having barbecue ribs. We had some ribs in our freezer that we needed to use, so Howard grilled them, seasoned them with, <clears throat> excuse me, this mixed up salt, crazy Jane's crazy mixed up salt. Use some onion powder, some paprika, and then this is the barbecue sauce that we used. We both really like it a lot. I also made some macaroni and cheese. Now I do have a recipe for crock pot macaroni and cheese on our channel. I used that recipe, but I baked it in the oven to cut down on time. I'll link it in the description box. And then I just made some green beans and seasoned them with some seasoned salt and bacon. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.